Look at that. That is crazy. Good girl. Look at that. That is insane. That is an insane amount of hair to come out of an ear. Good morning, everyone. So this is a Bouvier, and her name is Henrietta, and I'm gonna be grooming her. She's not getting the standard Bouvier cut. Um, I'm gonna start by doing her nails. She's very nervous, so we're gonna take it a little bit out of time. It's okay. Good girl. I know. Can you stand up? That'll help a little bit. There we go. Good girl. So I'm gonna be doing clean feet on her after the bath uh, because they there's another dog. Um, they get grass seeds, and they've already been on rounds of antibiotics before for that. And so we're gonna help prevent that by doing clean feet. So that black dot in there is the beginning of the quick. Good girl. Just take a little bit off at a time. There's the quick right there. Pretty long nails, but that is okay. The next thing, um, I think it's over there though, is the ears. Over here. Matted in here. I was told they only scissor, but this girl unfortunately needs to be trimmed short because she does have some matting back there and um, that can lead to urinary tract infections. There's some matting right here that we need to get off and I cannot safely get that off with scissors. That'd be dangerous. So. Um, so these ears are pretty bad. I'm gonna take my hemostats and we're gonna get her in the tub. Come on. Good girl. Yeah, my ear powder's over here. Can you get in there? Come on. Good girl. All right, we're gonna do these ears first. This is ear powder. Don't use anything besides ear powder. Don't use cornstarch, baby powder, flour, anything like that. This has resin in it and it helps you grip that hair. I know, you're not gonna like this.
going a little bit twisting at a time. Oh geez, that's so much hair. Okay, so I got some of it loose and so I'm just gonna reevaluate what needs to be pulled out. All this needs to be pulled out. All this in here. And it's so thick that. All right, are we ready? I know, girlfriend. Good girl. Look at that. That is crazy. Yeah. It's a lot. So, you can see now that, that is clear in there. And all the rest of that will be shaved. So I'm gonna turn, 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 turn. Turn, turn, turn. It's a lot of hair. A lot of powder so it doesn't, those hemostats don't slip off. So I pulled a little bit away from the skin, just kind of be able to see what we can pluck and what stays behind. All right. I know, girlfriend. I know. Good girl. That. That is insane. That is an insane amount of hair to come out of an ear. And then it's clear. We're gonna do some ear flushing real quick. So make sure there's no debris We don't like that. I know, it's okay. It's okay. Just gently. Okay. I know. I know, I know. Check. Okay. Okay, now, I know, we're done with that. We're done with that, okay? We're gonna move on to the bath. You okay with that? You wanna get clean and come over here? So we're gonna start with the bath. I have a bathing system. Just turn the soap on, shampoo, and we'll start. Okay. And it's okay. And it's okay. So the way this bathing system works is it is giving me continuous clean soapy water. So as I scrub the dog, it is going to wash away any dirt, oils, anything like that. And it'll just wash that away. 
We'll have a nice, clean dog afterward. And get this bathing system from their website directly, saveyourfur.com, S-A-V-U-R-F-U-R.com. I am not sponsored by this company or any other company and never have been. I just think their system is amazing. These dogs belong to the owner, the owner's daughter, the landlord's daughter. The dogs belong to the landlord's daughter. Can we come over here? Come here. Good girl. This is a paid groom. Do complete bath and then a nice conditioning. Can you only give me a foot between those toes. Uh, we got some matting in between the paw pads. Attempt to do anal glands. And now we're gonna do the head. Get this in here clean. The cleaner you can get it, the better the final groom is going to be on it. You need beards to be super duper clean. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my chub bar. This is specifically made for dogs. And I'm just gonna Get it in there and really work it in there. It's drying on the coat and that's why we're gonna use conditioner. Just wanna get, make sure we get all that food and saliva and all of that out of the beard. I'm gonna flood this coat with the water shampoo solution. And then we're gonna rinse. Start with the head. Nope, I'm gonna stay over in the tub. Good girl. All that soap out. I use the term soap and shampoo interchangeably. Um, it's shampoo, but soap is the shorter word to say and so that's why I 
mainly use the word soap, but shampoo and soap are different from each other. Can you come over here? Come here. Come here. Come on. There you go. Good girl. So now we're gonna switch and do conditioner. Same thing as we did with the shampoo. I'm gonna put it all over the dog. Come here. Just kind of flood the coat on top. I know there's gonna be some, maybe be some comments about the water pressure. The water pressure is fine. Um, you can pull out the nozzle to make it more powerful. Um, I like it like this. I like to flood the coat. Flood that coat so we get every single last hair conditioned. I'm working out of five gallon buckets and what this bathing system does, you can come over here, come over here, good girl, is it mixes what is in the five gallon containers with water and dilutes it a little bit more, but it dilutes it to the right ratio. Really want to condition this tail. And back here, it's pretty dry. But uh, if it's really a dry area, I just kind of keep going over it with the conditioner until it has the feel that I want. And then I move on to the next area. I'm gonna flood the coat. Saturate the coat with conditioner. And then we're gonna rinse. Good girl. Hoo wee! That's a lot of water, girlfriend. See how it's flooding the coat? Easy to rinse. Definitely be using Shoshin. Come on. On, no, we got to turn. Come on. Got to turn. Come on. We got to turn. Turn. Turn, turn, turn. There you go. No, I got to have you scoop back just a little bit. There we go. Shoshin on the tail and on the beard. Water goes off. We're gonna squeegee as much water as we possibly can. So we're not having to use five million towels. And the reason I did not shave 
most of the coat off beforehand is because I have found it gives a better cut if you just bathe the dog and then cut and you're not doing like a pre-shave down. It also prevents your blades from going dull faster. This towel is not going to do jack squat for this big dog, but we're gonna use it because I used it earlier. Just kind of squeezing the coat just to kind of soak up as much of that water as possible. And then I'll be moving her back to my table to complete the drying process. Towel is soaking wet. What do you think? Can you come over here? Can you stand up? Up, up, up. Up, up, up. There you go. Okay. That goes in there. I'm going to take this towel with me. And we're going to head over. Okay, now be gentle. Careful. There you go. Come up, 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 come on. Good girl. Okay, so I'm gonna get a big, whew, big happy hoodie. Is that stretchy enough for you? Is it too small? It's gonna do a light misting, pretty heavy misting on this tail, light misting on the body. This is just regular good old show sheen. And It's okay.
sit. Sit. see a couple of issues the first one being that the paw pads are matted um, so I'm gonna take my 30 blade and you can't just come in here and skim the top like I'm doing right now you really need to get down in there and scoop and get all that hair out so we're not matted.
We'll be doing clean feet, but I'm not gonna be doing that right now. I'm gonna get these mats out. Clear this up a little bit. Just like that. All these little yellow things you're seeing are grass seeds. Make sure all that matting is out. Over here. With this foot, this one is really matted over here. It's okay. So what I try to do is I will save that just to show the owner. Come on. Okay. Now. You're being such a good girl.
I really need to raise this table, but it makes me nervous because she stepped off while I was trying her and almost flipped the whole table. Um, the only reason she didn't is because she could reach the ground, and that's why I keep my table as low as possible, and it's another reason why I keep this tight. I gotta raise it up a little bit. Just keep an eye on her feet. Okay. So unfortunately, I am going to have to shave back here because it's matted. But I'll keep what I can. Keep that. Just one big solid mat on that tail.
Can you sit? Sit. Sit. Good girl. Hang on. I know. I don't like this. So what I'm doing right now is getting all the coat off that I can. Then I'm going to turn the dryer back on, fluff up the coat, and run over it again. And that gets a really nice, smooth finish. pushing against me. Come on. Can I stand up? so peaceful being back in shop. There's not a lot of loud noise, <sighs> just me and the dog, it's just peaceful. So I keep moving her closer to me because I don't want her stepping off. So if she ends up stepping off, she's gonna end up flipping the table. I don't want that.
Good girl. Okay. So now. What I'm going to do is, oh, I forgot to do around the head. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. There you go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just take this. of that fluffed up. So you get a good, nice even cut.
This girl weighed in right at 92 pounds. Now there's going to be some wondering how much she weighs, how big she is. So. No, no, no. Okay, now I'm gonna do the clean feet. I'm gonna switch blades. I'm gonna stick with a seven. I'm gonna do a seven clean feet. That's what the owner wants. Help prevent the
grass seeds. I know, girlfriend. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm almost done with this foot. Please don't step off. a lot of hair that came off this dog. A lot of hair. Good girl. No, no, no. It's the most difficult side for me to do because I am the most difficult foot to do because I'm left-handed. No, no, no. It's okay. Almost done, girlfriend. No, no, no. Easy. Easy.
Easy. Switch to a 30. Jeez, that's a mess. Gotta see some mats in his feet still. Speed up the best we can. Being such a good girl. Okay, now I'll put this back on here. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, sit. Sit. There you go. Do it around the neck. Uh, nope. No, ma'am. I'm gonna keep her head up. Come 
Okay. Again, this is modified. We're not doing exact to breed standards, so don't go by this cut. Um, the book that I have is great. It has all the breed cuts in it, but I am not going 100% breed cut. I just needed to know where this line was. And it's right here. I specifically asked her, you know, do we trim, do we cut on the side of the head? And they said, she said yes, so that's what we're doing. Okay. I need you to turn, girlfriend. There we go. Come here. Come here. Girlfriend, come here, come here. I need you over here closer. All right, we're gonna turn here. Come over here, come over here, there you go. Now sit, there we go. Come here. 
see those lights flickering too, huh? Okay, now we're gonna start on some combing out. This is, there's quite a bit of matting in here. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that because I don't demat, but we can cut it out to where we won't even be able to tell okay. Can you hear them? I'm going to brush out what I can. So right in here, come here girlfriend. do is take my thinning shears and all we're gonna do I really think the best thing for this much coat is to go in and thin everything just a little bit so there's not as much it's not as dense and you're not even going to be able to tell that it's been thinned. Especially right in here. It's crazy. Crazy amount of hair. Come here. Okay. All that thinned coat out. Just like that. It makes it so much more manageable. Come here. Girlfriend, you gotta quit fighting me. There we go. All right, so. There it is. Put your head up. Okay, so we're gonna. Girlfriend, I gotta have you put your head up, okay? There's mats in here. So, what I'm gonna do. Take my thinners and cut in there a few times with the thinners and it will come right out. Remember, that's not like hair that hasn't been brushed out. That is from thinning. It's okay. Quit fighting. I'm gonna get this out. There we go. There we go. Much better, how much better that lays. Now that there's not a bunch of extra fluff, I'm gonna comb this out of the way. Shh. <laughs> 
think I'm gonna thin this even a little bit more. Just make it a little more manageable. Not so thick. Definitely wouldn't do this like on a show dog, but this is not a show dog. This is a pet and I gotta do what I can as the groomer to make it the most manageable for the owner. And I th think that thinning this out is going to be the best bet. Come here. Just gonna comb everything down. Trim that nasty off on the front there. So now, OK. 
Okay, so this is a pet dog. So what I'm gonna do, take all of this. Okay, now brush this down. Take some of this front off. Not a bunch, but it's obviously been a while since this dog was groomed. So I want a little bit of that off. Come here. And I'm gonna cut this. No, no, no. Come here. All right. So now I just want to round this. I just want to kind of blend this into that I. Again, this is a pet groom. This is not a show groom. Don't look at this for just what I'm doing on this dog. So it's got to be manageable, but still look like the breed. Come here. You keep going away from me, girlfriend. Hey. Come over here. Come on. No, we're not jumping. Let's go back. Come here. Man, I love these new thinners I got. These are Gators from Guybe. Oh, man, fantastic. No, no, no. So we kind of want to do the same thing and just kind of blend this into that. It's not an obvious line. Nope. 
One more last look. Okay, so this is the other dog. I've eaten lunch and it's been probably an hour, close to an hour since I finished her. Um, but I talked to them and they want it more like a schnauzer cut. So this is, this. they want this blended into this pretty short. Come here. Gus, no sir, he wants to play. No, no, no. Come here. So, just really wanna, wanna blend. What are you doing? No, no, no. No. No, ma'am. Thank you. We're not going to make this like, no, 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 super duper short, but just blended. No, no, ma'am. Girlfriend, what are you doing? So just kind of like that. They just want it separated. Just kind of kind of blend this. Just like that. Girlfriend. Come on. Come on. So I'm just gonna do that on the other side and then I'm gonna get started on her. You're okay, girlfriend. You're okay. Shh. All right, so no, no ma'am. She's so funny. And she's gonna see this video. She was like, I don't wanna be one of those clients. And I was like, no, I told you if there's something wrong to let me know and we'll fix it. Girlfriend. <whistles> Come here. Now, I just want to kind of blend this a little bit. I know, you're okay. <laughs> I know. No. Come here. No, no. No, no ma'am. So now I'm just gonna blend this a little bit better. So it's not so pointy, sticking out. No, no ma'am. No ma'am, we're not doing all that. Nope. Okay. 
That looks much better. Girlfriend, you can't be making those sudden movements. She said that sometimes she gets hematomas, but they're fine. Hey, Batman, knock it off. So I'm just going to this off. Come on, go. So what I'm gonna do, so these dogs cannot get out, is even if they jump on that and push it, they can't get out. Come on, no, we're gonna leave and we're going this way. Come on. Now, um, see on here, it would be a shaved tail, but they don't want shaved. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna brush all this out real quick. Okay. Up, up. Turn. And we are needing a bunny rabbit tail. So it's basically the same as a poodle tail, which I can handle. So. What I'm gonna do is just brush all this out like that. And Bunny rabbit tail. So we're just going to brush even further up and trim this even more. So same thing, except I'm gonna do it on the bottom. I'm gonna grab that tail and I'm gonna brush down. And we kind of have to compromise because we had to shave the bottom of that because of matting. So all I'm gonna do is just slightly round that. You can see it's kind of flat. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of add some shape around like that. Just like that, you have a bunny rabbit tail. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna text the owner real quick. I 
Actually, no, I'm not. Because my phone's not in here. So now all we need to do, head, ears are done, feet are done. All we need now is the bandana. And so, I think before I do the bandana, I am gonna just blow her off real quick because there is quite a bit of hair. Dry that a little bit. Okay, I see one spot that I need to get. Okay, and I need to trim those real quick. No. Okay, good. Now, we'll do some fresh breath spray, doggy cologne, and then a bandana. You beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. So, just gonna put her collar back on her and then I'll show you how I clean up my mess because it's a mess and just put this back around her come on she's gonna go in here Go in there? Nope, you gotta go in there. There you go. All right, so now I gotta get my vacuum and we're gonna vacuum all this hair up because it's a bunch of hair. A bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, bunch of hair. No, Gus.
dog. So I'm not doing a deep clean right now. Just getting the majority of the mess up because it the dog is in the same family. That's all I'm going to do right now. <laughs> 